What's up everyone? So I am sitting in my new M2. Well, new to me, it's not new, I got it used. But I um, figured I'd give a little uh, little look of it, a little look around the car, show you guys, talk about little things with it, um, why I chose this car. Um, yeah, in short, first of all, I moved to Pittsburgh. And what's awesome is car insurance is way fucking cheaper down here. <laughs> Not only is car insurance cheaper, but also when I was in New York, I had to pay like 50 bucks a month for a parking spot, which is cheap. But I was up in the Bronx. In the city, in the Manhattan, parking spots could be like 500 a month and shit like that. So, it's like I was able to cut that cost. Insurance is only 100 bucks a month down here. And it was kind of time to upgrade to a new car anyway. I've kind of been having my eye on an M2 for a while. Um, I was kind of into it. More so for New York City because it's a little shorter. The Camaro was pretty long and sometimes would be there would be a lot of spots sometimes in the city where I knew I could have fit with a shorter car. But the Camaro was just a little too long. Which is funny because it's a coupe but it has a really long front. It's like a very long car. It's more of like a GT. It's considered like a GT car. It's more of like a grand touring shape. It's kind of like the size of like an eight series. Um, but yeah, so I decided to upgrade and I was looking around the area. I was able, first of all, so mainly I was looking, I was looking for something that hopefully won't depreciate a lot. It might actually appreciate right I wanted something with somewhat low miles like under 20,000 miles that I could probably drive for like two years I had the Camaro for two years and one month I got like April 1st 2019 um <clears throat> so I won something and I got that I got lucky on that because I got it with like less than 3,000 miles on it so it was pretty much new but it had to appreciate a little since it was technically used um so similar situation with this car. This car has, this is a 2018, but it sold new in 2019. It actually sold new like exactly two years ago. I think it was May 1st or something. And it has like just under 20,000 miles. Um, this specifically, so there's an M2, there's an M2 competition and there's an M2 CS, right? The M2 was made like 2015 or 16 to 2018. The original murder was, uh, the original engine motor was the N55, which is like a turbo six. That sounds fucking great. It sounds really fucking good. Um, I mean, I could try to rev it right now, but it's in, I'm gonna put it in neutral. Yeah, it's not that good. <laughs> but um, you can't really hear it, but it's, it's loud. It sounds really good. And I have a, this came with a, it has like the dual exhaust, carbon tips. This this model is pretty loaded. It's carbon fiber anywhere. I should just get out and start talking about it. Well, I'll start showing the interior. So the interior, first of all, I got automatic, you can see right here. It's DCT, so it's a dual clutch transmission, which means there's like two rows of clutches. So basically the clutch is already engaged when you're switching through gears, the clutch for the next gear is already engaged. So it's a super fast, transmission a lot of carbon fiber in here like right here and it's like it's like a nice like raw carbon fiber it's not gloss so when you feel it it's very 3d like you really feel all the ridges like you feel the the carbon weave i really like it um i might switch this to like carbon fiber and maybe get some carbon fiber here but there's carbon fiber all over this carbon fiber right here and again it's like the raw weave so you really feel the texture which i like it's like on the handles um it has a carbon fiber package it's very nice the carbon fiber it has the harman cardone speaker system i'll even show you like i actually have the original <clears throat> they actually had the original whatever these things are called so this was what these are like 55 base, but this one had like what, 12 grand in upgrades on it. So it's preloaded, it's preloaded up. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Luckily I didn't have to pay the 66 for it cause I got to use, <laughs> but it wasn't cheap. But even the seats, 
the seats are pretty um they don't look over the top or anything but i do like the m and the blue stitching is like a nice touch to it they're pretty comfortable i would say the wheel i can kind of upgrade the outside maybe with like some alcantara but i like the wheel it's pretty solid um it's not much i can say but it's like very clean it's like the sports stuff the bmw i drive it's a very uh it's a very clean interior um i like it a lot but getting back to what what i was basically looking for was something somewhat limited the m2s aren't easy to find the one i found the dealership I went to, I couldn't find any at BMW dealerships out here at all. Um, there was a dealership I went to that happened to have two of them. The other one was Long Beach Blue, which I love that color. I'm not really a white fan. Like, I wouldn't get a white car, but that's what that's what I can find. But the other one had, the mileage was like 40-something thousand, so the warranties could be up pretty soon, so I'm going to get it. That one was stick, too, and I would have gotten stick. I would have gotten that one. I would have actually preferred stick, but I couldn't find it with the type of with the type of miles I want. Because on mine, I still have two years, thirty thousand miles left in the warranty, which is perfect. I'll probably sell it in two years. Maybe get like a used Corvette C8. Um, let me get out of here. Show you guys the outside. But mainly, but mainly, I was looking for something pretty limited. So I was looking at maybe a Shelby GT350. Um, but they were a little too pricey. Couldn't really find those under like 60. And you couldn't, um, I couldn't find anywhere, like any any of them anywhere out here. But just look at this. The exhaust is a nice touch. Carbon fiber, it's very loud. We got a carbon fiber spoiler, as you can see. I really like the wheels. They're not black, they're partially black and partially polished which I imagine is very hard to do. Um, I really like the wheels. The brakes are pretty dope, I must say. Um, the color's nice. It came with tints. It came with a cold air intake. I have a feeling that it's tuned, to be honest with you. Um, but I'll, I gotta figure that out. I'm pretty sure it's tuned. I'm thinking about changing this. I'm thinking about changing the grill to the multicolor with the M stripes on it. And those two pipes, these two pipes back, you see this pipe right here and then over here, the one that's like diagonal. I might get that painted white. I think that'll be a nice little touch. I'm all about the subtle, the subtle touches. But these mirrors are really dope. Carbon fiber mirrors fucking very sick you won't really notice it unless you're like right here looking at it otherwise it just kind of looks black but they're really they're really 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 amazing um the car looks really good one thing i'm gonna do and um i already set up an appointment i did it on my camera i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap the roof gloss black the roof and the fin which i did on the camera really like gives it a sportier look but also I'm gonna wrap the top of the trunk from here all the way to the spoiler. So that black is gonna wrap all the way around the, the roof right down to the spoiler. It's gonna make it look more sleek. It kind of it's it kind of makes me think about like the Z4 M coupe, how that kind of looked. Like it's kind of like a vibe. It's kind of like a vibe. I was thinking about also doing a stripe. I was thinking about doing a stripe going from like here straight across to here and then curving around right here because one of the cool things about the m2 is the stance right it has like it's very wide which you can kind of see here the wheels like really the wheel arches like really stick out so i wanted to put a line in there to really accentuate that but we'll see i don't know if i'm going to do that i don't want to like make it look like you know like a ricer i want it to look pretty clean and almost factory but just do some subtle stuff but i think the roof black and the top of the trunk black is really gonna like do well with the shape of the car it's really gonna make it look cool and pretty unique um but yeah i love it so far i love it so far it's fucking fast i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure whoever had this before me tuned it because it's really fast 
and I'm noticing, I'm noticing like under like 15 miles an hour, <clears throat> it like gets very, uh, gets like grumpy, it gets very like jumpy, which I don't think it would do if it weren't tuned. I think that has to do with the tune, not handling that very well, but <clears throat> this thing is fast. My Camaro was the V6, it wasn't the V8, but it was fast. Um, that Camaro, I mean, I can cruise around in that at 100 all day with feeling like it's just cruising, not really feeling it. This, I haven't even really been able to see what it can do. But yesterday on the highway, I mean, without even trying, it was cruising at like 110 and it didn't even feel like it was working at all. It felt like it could keep accelerating hard. Like it's, this car is really fast. Um, I know BM, BMW understates their horsepower numbers a lot, but I know this actually is supposed to have stock, like 380 horse and around the same torque, I think. But I know with like a dining tune, which is what most people do, it's like a little over 400 horse, but then like 450 pound feet, which is um, just pretty strong, especially for a car this size. And the torque is what really makes you feel it. Like when you talk about accelerating and like feeling the car, that's torque. This car is very torquey, and it's very torquey on the low end, which is good. Um, the M2 Competition in CS with the S55 engine, they have more power, but the power is higher in the rev range. This has a lot of low end power. It has slightly less power than the S55, but you get the power like low in the rev range, which is good. Because day to day, that's what you're really going to feel. You're not driving around like 140 miles an hour, so... <laughs> like the high, like having power up at like 6,000, 7,000 RPM or whatever isn't like, you're not gonna see that. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like anytime I push the gas, I'm already way over the speed limit within a second or two. Like it's, you can't drive this very fast. So it's really about the acceleration when you're driving slow to getting a little quicker kind of, if you wanna say like 30 to 70, things like that. Like, you know, 50 to 100. In those ranges, this car is like very quick and it's so nimble, it handles very well. The suspension is definitely better, way better than the Camaro. Like it's so tight. Yesterday it was raining all day and I was driving around all day and like, it's fine. And these are sport tires. I forget exactly what kind of tires these are. So I was a little worried, but they're, the thing is fine. I was doing over a hundred like in the rain yesterday, like fine um, on the highway, not the back roads, but the back roads that felt fine i didn't slip at all i thought i would i was really trying to test it out to like see how good the grip is because i had the time to really like kind of feel it out yesterday um but this car is it's awesome it's awesome i love it um yeah like i said i got this mainly because i'm hoping it doesn't depreciate a lot like i was thinking about zl1 camaro which might hold value well might not it'll probably depreciate more than this um I told you I was thinking about the Shelby GT350, the Mustang, but they were a little too, they were more than I wanted to spend. Like this was like just under 50. I would have rather spend less, but because it's so optioned out, it's kind of, you know what I mean? I would have rather had a cheaper one with less options. Although I love all the carbon fiber and whatnot, but um, because when you go to resell it, like you're not gonna get that money back really. So this will depreciate more than a lower optioned one. But um, either way, I like it. And these are like, it's hard to kind of find these, especially used and whatnot. Like, especially out here in New York, there's more of them. Out here, <clears throat> the next closest ones were like 200 miles away. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, it's hard to find, but these might appreciate. <clears throat> Sorry, the predecessor to this was like the 1M, which has gone up in value a lot, but they made a lot less of them. Um, so this won't appreciate like that, but it may appreciate, or it may only slightly depreciate over the next two years, so we'll see. Um, I know this could be like a gap year or two between when they stop making this M2 and then go to the next body M2. So in that time, it might go up in value a little, it might hold value, it might slightly depreciate, but <clears throat> I mainly didn't want to get something that was gonna depreciate like a lot. Um, which was also why I didn't get an M4. There's an M4 at the same dealership with more miles, but it was actually cheaper than this. It was white with a red interior, but I think it's gonna depreciate more. And the miles, I just didn't want the higher miles. It was around like 40,000. But um, 
I think these will hold their value pretty well. So we'll see. I guess we'll see in two years. I'll set a clock. <laughs> I'll set a reminder. But so far, I love this car. It's fast. I've always wanted a BMW M. Um, I always liked the M3s when I was younger. Now, the thing with the M3s is they've gotten so much bigger and heavier. They're more powerful, obviously. Um, but they're not like, they don't have the same sportiness that they had when I was younger. So the M2 is actually more like what M3s were back then. You know, I always liked the E46 M3, which is probably about the same size as this. M4s now, it used to be an M3 because the three series was the sedan and the coupe, and now the coupe is a four series. So the M4, <clears throat> it's just bigger now. Um, it's heavy. I wanted something that felt sportier. Like, I didn't really want an M4. I don't think I would have gotten an M4. It was really between, like, an M2, a GT350, if I can find one cheap enough. Um, I was thinking ZL1, but I didn't really want to get... I didn't want to... Because it's the same interior as mine. It's a little different. The seats are better. But it would be the same body, pretty much, as mine. Like, it looks way better. It's way faster, obviously, but... In essence, same kind of cars. So I wanted like a different, you know what I mean? I wanna I don't wanna keep getting the same cars. I wanna keep getting different cars every time I get a new car. So anyways, this is an M2. I fucking love it. I really do. It's awesome. <laughs> I really love it. It's fast. It's like perfect for me. Um I don't have any kids as of yet, so it's like I can as long as I can do cars like this, I want to. Because Someday if I do have kids, then obviously I won't be able to get like, you know, tiny two doors. Cause these are basically two seaters. The Camaro, you can't use the back seat for people. This, I could, this actually has more space than Camaro, funny enough. But um, still like, you're not gonna have people in the back. So while I can have these cars, I wanna keep doing it. Um, but yeah, this is my M2. I love it, it's my new baby. <laughs> I'm still trying to think of nicknames. Somebody said, the German oak, and I'm kind of feeling it. That might be it, but we'll see. Anyways, till next time. You know the deal. Barbell Commission Apparel. We got a bunch of new gear up there. Barbellcommissionapparel.com. Later.